Jack versus Goonie coming up on your screen already. And right after that, man, this is definitely going to be a slobber. Oh, boy. Don't, no, don't even say anything. I will say, I'll keep them on the toes. Yeah. Keep them on their toes. I like to make sure people stay here to see what's going to happen next. And I promise you this next match is going to be godlike. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so right now we have Goonie from France, a local hero going up against Dying Back from Korea. Now, Goonie, if you guys are not familiar with this name, is one of the best players in Europe. Um, has very, very inconsistent results, but if you remember back in Dame Germany, um, played against uh, Mr. Naps and took him out three matches straight, Ooh. nine rounds straight. So this guy is not a bad player by any means. I told you guys I had a banger for you, and <laughs> there it is. Spag giving you the lore, and now you guys know what you're looking at. Dime back <clears throat> newly signed to uh, Equinox. Equinox. To Equinox, excuse me. And uh, one of the coolest jerseys in the game because they have baseball jerseys. Yeah. So they actually gave me one. Oh, really? Yeah, they gave me one at Evo. It's actually sick. I wear it all the time. Sick. It's pretty cool. Awesome. And shout out to Equinox. And it's shout out to all the sponsors, really, to, for allowing us to witness these amazing players here in, oh, this, uh, in this region. It's it's especially considering, like, Tekken 7 is one of those games that, like, now we're seeing a lot more sponsored players. We're seeing a lot more consistency for uh, uh, traveling competition, especially these high levels. Not only your your uh, your knees or your Chanel's or your JDCR's or your Saints. Yeah. Like we're getting a lot of these players. Uh, Tissue Mon. I, I wish we would see uh, players like Kakoma. All, we see him everywhere, and he's not sponsored. Yeah. Udon's, of course. So many different and unique top tier players being sponsored now that uh, Tekken is, is starting to take over the world slowly but surely. So shout out to all the every if you sponsor a Tekken player. I give you love. You Absolutely. have the respect of Steve. It's, cra it's crazy because back in Tekken Tag 2, it wasn't like that. Like I swear, there was no Koreans that would come down apart from one tournament in France called Ultimate Tournament. There were really not many internationals that would come down. So, like for us, but Tekken 7 coming out and these guys traveling over to Europe was a massive thing. And I think we're a little bit spoiled now. Eight Koreans here. Right? Should have been 10. <laughs> it, it definitely should have been 10, <laughs> but unfortunately, JDCR and my boys saint could not make it but i'm pretty sure we'll see them soon at a, yeah. a twt near you but either way here we go gunny one of the strongest players here in france going up against a beast from the east and he's a jack player oh Dude, I'm telling you man this guy's i've known him since uh early tag two days and i always knew that he was gonna have his breakout moment he had it in germany can he do it at home though all right extra pressure home turf advantage and the forgotten realm oh god this stage is so dirty for both guys if you don't break throws on this stage you're gonna get launched mm-hmm mm -hmm. all right here we go yeah oh they up four three yeah four three is a good move to use versus jack of course like he's got really good low pokes up four three we've got over them counter hit nice side step two there mm -hmm. really good space and goonie with the hook oh he's gonna break the floor uh 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 no 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 i thought he was close to the wall yeah not quite but he's got that wall pressure though Punish, nice. Oh, forward too, yo, he is aware. That stop sign. I like to check with the down four, one, back three. You gotta be careful, take a step forward. This is gonna break. Yeah, we're gonna get some, a re wall splat into a boom, boom, boom. Oh, the two catches him out of the air. Yep, there we go, full combo. 18 seconds left on the clock. Oh, oh. big whiff. Going for the tombstone. Oh, once again. Oh, he did it three times after <laughs> the catch. That was good, though. That's one of the things about Gunny. He's extremely, extremely patient. I think uh, dying back will figure that out. Oh, I like the fact that he waited. No whip punish, though. Mm -hmm. I like the uh, the honesty checks with the down 4-1. Yeah, it was crazy. The, the thing he, he won when he, when he played against Jimmy J. Tran in, in Germany, it was just a lot of two jab. He uses that jab super, super well. You've got to be careful against uh, the right dying back, though. He's a crazy man. He's a uh, he's definitely one of those players that uh, if he gets comfortable it becomes a problem. Yeah. Oh, oh big man. launcher. That's sick. Uh uh. Oh no. Interesting. I think that might be a jack thing. I think it was just he was a little off axis. It looked like because mm. the hit sh the hit in the middle like the the one from the two one two actually just completely whipped. Interesting. So no punishing that whip down for two. Here we go. We get into the clutch again. Oh, miss and Chuck. And dead. that's what I was talking about. You don't break throws in the stage again. They get launched. That wrist Chuck slam. Oh, good punish. Jackhammer. Misses the one, though. That is not yeah. easy. He's missed a couple times now. Oh, man. That is crazy. 
while suddenly for whiffing and gets that tooth fairy as well. This is going to go downstairs. Final floor. Oh, that was dangerous. Mm -hmm. Tries to swing in the middle. We got wall pressure now. Oh God! Wow. Oh, the power crush. Anything's going to do it for dying back. All right. Yeah, finishes it off, and uh, that's three rounds straight, I believe. <laughs> that Oscar win pulls. And he's and, and versus him. Son of a. <laughs> So yeah, looking good, Dimebag. And Dimebag hasn't had uh, a series of great performances recently. We saw him get a top eight back at, I want to say, CEO. I'm not sure though. I think he might have been CEO. Did well in Australia as well. Yes, yes. But uh, recently hasn't been doing so well. Summer Jam wasn't great for him. Mm -hmm. uh, but looking to bounce back here at the mix-up. I think he was just out of uh, top eight for Evo. I think he got like ninth or twelfth or something crazy like that. But I could be wrong. I see the way he plays though. His play style is 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 one of those ones where it's kind of hit and miss, right? Sometimes he'll just destroy you. Sometimes he's so crazy that he can end up killing himself, right? Mm -hmm. But I feel like that's the kind of character like Oscar is, right? Like you can't play completely reserved. Like I feel like it's really hard to play like the patient game with Oscar yeah. because it's too easy to overtake her, right? And you can't go crazy because she doesn't have the tools to be super offensive, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to be able to turn it on. It's about like re nice side step to and the tooth fairy. Yeah. You have to be able to do stuff like that. You have to be able to make those moves where she has evasive moves that's going to get her the advantage with a combo to boot. So. There's definitely a method to his madness. You see that he knows the matchup as well. He's not playing random. He's sidestepping left, which is the perfect way to go against Jack, especially for his lows. Oh, oh counter man. hits. Yep. Mm, mm, mm. Two, one, two. Right in the nuts and bolts. Here we go. <laughs> right in the nuts and bolts. Uh oh. Oh, wow. That whiffed. Power crush. Oh, that was dangerous. That was not worthy. That was not worth it. That one power crush. Hit. See, that's not. That was <laughs> not worth it. Yeah, very good. Using that two jab. You see a lot of up four three used uh, from Asuka, of course, trying to counter hit those lows, but the jab is the counter to that. Floating him out. Oh, nice block on that down three. Mm -hmm. Deep up. Like, I like it. Oh, oh no, we're going downstairs. Big boy damage here. Oh, back uh, one. Uh, good. The wall messed up the combo. Still got a ton of damage, though. Backdashing, backdashing, getting out of there. Oh, that's a launcher? Only versus Biggs. 4-2. Uh. Unblockable, he ducked it. He ducked it, this is not taking Wait, that what? <laughs> How did he duck it? Uh, that's all I was about to say, he ducked it. <laughs> and then I heard him myself, I'm like, what the hell? He's got access to Rage though, Rage you. Oh. Wow, that was so far away. If we do replays, I want to see that. I want to see the, the duck on the unblockable <laughs> and the end of that. He's ducking mids out here. See, that's, this, this dude Jack deserves to get nerfed. You yeah, see this? He got the nerfs, man. It was fair. Down 4-2. Mm -hmm. uh, back oh, one for the Oki. Mm -hmm. I wonder what he tried to do there. Went for the one jab. Not something you usually see from Jack. Oh, wow. What a backdash jackhammer. And wants to be dropping the one. Yeah, he's not getting that one. He should try, maybe try to go for something else. Hey. Gotta be careful here because Asuka can kill you with that race drive. Oh, oh the no. side step again. That's dead. That is dead. Uh, again. Uh. Uh. And just like that, dying back on set point here versus Guni, the local lad, the local hero. Can he bring it back? Chopping away with those lows. Plus frames there with the forward four. Good patience. And again, just sidestepping perfectly. <laughs> My boy Dimeback is such an active player. <laughs> oh, the one! <laughs> Finally gets it. Not when he needs it, though. Wow, what? Sidestep Tooth Fairy again. He needs to stop him from doing that. He's sidestepping so much. Forward one is a great tool with Jack. Maybe he's use a bit more of that. Oh, wow. Goes for the cancel this time around. Yep. Oh god, that slight side step to make that down back one whiff. Okay, Goonie taking his time this one, this yep. time around. Didn't punish the back three though on whiff. Uh oh, here we go. Seven seconds left. No, oh, the wild standing four, and it almost was like a whiff punish. Like he threw an attack out. Yep. And got clipped by the wild standing four. Dying back is gonna move on. Yeah, that's crazy. It was really just the movement from Dying back, not really about him being crazy or random. It was just perfect side stepping.